Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan from interstitiallungdisease.info. In this presentation, this very short presentation, bits of ILE, I'd like to just cover what is the normal bronchoalveolar lavage differential cell count. This is very, very important. You'll come across uh, patients who have uh, undergone a bronchoscopy with a bronchoalveolar lavage to assess their interstitial lung disease quite often. This is something that is done frequently. So it's important to know the normal differential cell count. This is useful also for other conditions if you're trying to diagnose other things, but generally for interstitial lung disease, for the diagnosis of ILD, the bronchoalveolar lavage differential cell count is very, very important. It tells you something, it answers a very, very important question for the management of the condition your patient is having. So basically it tells you whether the lungs have inflammation or only fibrosis because this changes your treatment approach. There's a little bit of a fork in the road. Are you going to treat predominantly an inflammatory disease or predominantly in fibrotic lung condition? That's very important. It has very important implications for you and your practice and your patients as well. So that being said, let's get into it. First, you know the disclaimers. This is not medical advice. If you are struggling with a medical problem, do talk to your doctor. They're the only ones qualified to give you information according to your case particularities. Then, the other thing, if you are a medical professional, also if you're treating patients, giving medical advice, uh, prescribing medication, you need to use your own judgment according to the cases you are seeing. That being said, let's get into this objective for this presentation. Obviously, to present the normal bronchoalveolar lavage differential cell count. This is the reference right there. I'm basing this off the ATS, the American Thoracic Society guideline, which is still very, very useful for this um, reason. This is it. It's not very complicated. So you've got alveolar macrophages, lymphocytes, neutrophils, eosinophils, and other cells. This is what will be reported on a bronchoalveolar lavage differential cell count. This is what you will get from the pathologist. I've highlighted this in yellow because it's very important to have a good quality bronchoalveolar lavage. You need to have a true lavage. This is something very, very important. And maybe sometimes clinicians who do not work in the field of ILD think that they're doing a bronchoalveolar lavage, but they're not actually doing it. They're doing a bronchial wash. And it's a big, big difference. If you are collecting a lot of other cells in the BAL, you get like 15, 20% other cells, that is a bronchial wash. It's not a lavage. It means that you've collected a lot of bronchial cells from the lining of the airways, but you haven't actually obtained a sample of fluid that has gone into the depths of the lung, let's call it like that, and brought back the inflammatory cells that you are after. You're trying to characterize whether the lungs contain lymphocytic inflammation or not. That's basically it. Or use xenophils as well. They can tell you something as well. So basically the alveolar macrophages should be high. You need to have a high number normally when you're doing a lavage. The lymphocytes, if they are higher than 50%, you consider that your condition is inflammatory in nature, and generally that would require some treatment with anti-inflammatory agents such as corticosteroids. Neutrophils, if they are high, so generally above 3%, you might consider that that could be either an infection or some sort of an adverse factor that might predict a poor response to treatment or a rapid progression of the disease. But obviously there are other things as well, and I'll go into future videos over these things and what they actually mean. You have eosinophils, just briefly, obviously you should have very, very few eosinophils. If you have a high number of eosinophils, you need to think of specific conditions. And again, I'll cover this in future videos. But for now, this is the normal differential cell count. Pay attention to the quality of the BAL to get an accurate characterization of what's going on deep within the lungs. This is what I wanted to cover in this Bits of ILD video, and I hope to see you in future videos on my channel and on the website interstitiallungdisease.info. Thank you very much and all the best.